This is Lex's first start of the day. One of the things I gave her feedback after the start was, you know, to be a little more patient. You know, first five steps, she's in a terrific angle, very loaded up. But at here, she begins to lift prematurely, and her transition is a little rushed. So it was something we addressed in the next start. This is start number two. She got out a lot better. Her reaction to the whistle was it was terrific, and uh, she's in a much more aggressive trajectory. So you see her here in the slow motion video. She displaces uh, and, and clears the blocks well. She's in a terrific uh, sagittal plane here. Uh, her head is leading her hips, and her hips are leading her heels. She's sweeping the track with her hands really aggressively, allowing for her to maintain that uh, forward trajectory. This is your fuse. Okay, and this is 100 meters. We're trying to burn the fuse throughout the continuum. So 100 meters is over, the cannon goes off, we're done. If you're burning your fuse and you're starting here, and it's burned by 70 meters, what do you have left? Yeah. Nothing, right? That's where the deceleration comes, and that's the worst feeling in the world. Yeah. It's the worst feeling in the world. It, what happens is it causes panic, and then it causes our position to change, and then the rest is history. So we go from a 12-1, and it turns into a 12-6. For me, it was a 10-1, and it turns into a 10-4. And that was the difference with just being patient here, setting yourself up right here. Okay? Be patient. This is her first start on the corner. She kind of reverted back to what she did on her first start on the straight. She, she rushed a little bit coming into a transition, so we'll address that on the next one. So you see her in slow motion. Her set position is probably a little high. Her back leg is getting a little overextended, but she's clearing the blocks really well. Her angle's terrific. Um, you know, she's she's still in a good position. Her shoulders are a little high, but she's creating a lot of force against the track, which is in turn creating centrifugal force around the apex of the corner, which sets you up really well to come home. This is Lex's second start on the corner, and I thought it was a, a better executed start for sure. She cleared the blocks really well, and she's, you know, a tremendous use of her hands for, you know, such a, such a young athlete. She's only uh, an eighth grader. As you see her in slow motion, compared to the first start, um, she, she sweeps the track, or she, she splits her hands really well on the reaction, allowing her to clear the blocks effectively, and... Um, you know, Wilt's maintaining a forward trajectory and a really aggressive angle to the track. So her shin angle's pretty good. She's sweeping through her hip and maintaining a good shoulder trajectory. So in turn, this will tr create tremendous centrifugal forces that'll allow the transition in the uh, straightaway to so a lot more dynamic. Black placard, the top of the corner, will feel like it's, it's, it's gone here and gone in like a second top of the corner to the middle of the straightaway, that's the fastest portion of the two from anyway. So if you set it up here, that feels faster. It's, it's just the way progression goes. So that sensation, if you feel in a gear, you're definitely gonna feel it there. And that's a good, that's a great thing. You know, you know, the slingshot is not that much. It's really good. It sounded really good. And that's as much as the next set of drills here are unilateral or single leg split jumps. She's using a nine pound body bar. And what she does really well here, and it's intuitive, is you see here she recovers her ankles into dorsiflexion uh, before ground contact, allowing her to load the spring on the next jump. The next exercise is the tried and true alternating bound, and again, she's uh, she's so dynamic for her age, it's pretty impressive. So you see here in slow motion, her uh, dorsiflexion and extension in the back is just it's just tremendous. Ground contact time is is really impressive for her age. The last exercise here is what we call star jumps or jump squats. And the interesting thing here is after she's done, she'll roll through to acceleration. Very good. So that's the first of many videos to come. Um, 
I urge you to go over and, and, and like, check out JC Speed Development on Facebook. There you'll see a, a, a little more in depth of, of what JC Speed Development provides athletes. Um, my mantra, my the astro plane in which JC Speed floats on is developing speed fundamentally. A lot of athletes come to me and say that, well, I want to run a fast of 40. Uh, I want to lower my time in the 100 meters. I want to be able to jump higher, so on and so forth. And, and those are all good focal points athletically, but we start fundamentally. We start from basic movement patterns. And, and the interesting thing is I don't work exclusively with sprinters. I work a lot with baseball, soccer, football, hockey. But I really, truly believe in that developing this kinesthetic awareness, developing these fundamental athletic endeavors is, uh, is the foundation for every good athletic development program. And that it's challenging. You know, speed often gets relegated as either you have it or you don't. I don't believe in that. I believe that every athlete has the ability to accelerate and everything is relative. Ideally, we're trying to place you into a position where you can execute that acceleration, allowing you to transition into full upright sprinting and that maintenance of that velocity is something that's learned. It's a learned skill and it needs to be learned through communication and the reciprocation of ideas, both biomechanical and from a field perspective, from a coach that knows both from the scientific perspective and also from the personal perspective. And that's, um, and that's challenging to find. And, and fortunately, through the years of my uh, you know, athletic pursuit, I became drawn in and fascinated with the scientific side of it. But I've also experienced it myself and I've experienced the highs and the lows and in, 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 in the in-betweens that uh, go through the whole gamut of, of sprinting. And uh, so I, again, I urge you to, to go over and, and check out speed development if you're interested in this type of training and, and um, I'd, I'd be happy to answer your questions and, and uh, fill you in with some, some details here. But ultimately, you know, I thank you for your support and uh, you know, this is exciting time for me in my life. Um, my wife and I are expecting a baby. I'm actually in the nursery as we speak. This uh, room will be occupied in, in a couple months. So thanks again and uh, thanks for your feedback. Thanks for your support and I'll see you next time. Bye.